Megwitch Anin Nihao This video is all about food and eating. I absolutely love food and I love eating, but there are a lot of crazy complications in my life at least around food and trying to figure out what to eat, what I truly want to eat, what my body wants. Is there a distinction between my mind and body? How does that all work? And I often ponder these things. And my general philosophy is using the three E's with food. And the three E's are explore, so trying different diets, experiment, experimenting with different recipes, different combinations of foods, and experience. So learning from experience, having some sort of food journal or um, way of documenting how what foods we like or what foods make us feel like crap. And uh, for the past year or so, I've been really trying to figure out what foods my body wants and what makes me feel good. I've been using these three E's and um, I have some other little tools like that that I use um, like for example I one of my main philosophies is using um, <clears throat> using this scale of how close is the food to its natural state and um, and so this banana is pretty close to its natural state maybe it's not organic although I think it supposedly is but organic would be the organic fruit right off the tree would be um, on the one side of the spectrum and then on the whole other side of the spectrum would be completely artificial banana flavoring that is extracted in a laboratory from chemicals and stuff so there's this whole spectrum maybe halfway in between is like um, they took a banana and then they froze it and they put some weird spray on it or something. So there's this spectrum and I try to eat foods closest to their natural state. It doesn't mean they necessarily have to be raw. Um, there's a lot of different perspectives on raw foods. Some people advocate for a whole only raw foods, but then a lot of other ancient traditions say that that's not a good idea and you should have a balance between raw foods and cooked foods because um, humans have been cooking foods throughout the history of our species you know so they it, there's not necessarily I think the goal is to avoid dogma and being lasered into one philosophy and using the three E's allows you to explore all these different philosophies and um, for me personally um, I often use food as kind of a distraction from other things I don't want to do and um, it's kind of like if I'm bored then I'll just start eating or if I'm tired then I'll just start eating because food is just always there and it distracts us from the feelings that we don't want to address so that's one big thing with me um, but what really helped me get um, more of an understanding of this is the book The Yoga of Eating by Charles Eisenstein which I super super highly recommend if you're interested in food or eating or yoga or anything um, he has a, an online seminar audio seminar which I'll post a link to which is phenomenal I listened to that like four times and then I decided to buy the book and the book is even more detail and more explanations and I really love all of Charles Einstein work science work because it just makes so much sense it's like I always just take a deep breath and I'm like wow it is so simple and all these other philosophies are making it so complicated and it's so simple and um, the book under title is called transcending diets and dogma to nourish the natural self so a lot of the book is saying how all of these 
a lot of the mainstream diets are like, okay, you got to eat this and you can't eat that and um, you can't do all this stuff and you have to listen to our, you have to listen to Dr. Atkins, you know, he knows best. Um, when Charles Eisenstein is saying we should listen to our own bodies and our own bodies know what we need and so we're nourishing our natural self instead of listening to all these crazy diets which are telling us uh, contradictory information and um, it's all about um, well one one way that I kind of interpret some of the stuff from the yoga of eating is he talks about just getting pure pleasure from your food and um, and really eating mindfully so if, if I'm gonna eat this banana this banana has potentially a hundred pleasure points so just play along for a moment so this banana has a hundred pleasure points avail possible potential pleasure points possible potential pleasure points um, but it, and, and I can receive all of those hundred pleasure points if I eat the banana one bite at a time and close my eyes and really enjoy every bite. But if I'm watching TV or typing away on Facebook while eating this banana, then I'm going to miss out on those pleasure points and maybe my body will really only receive eight of those hundred possible pleasure points because I'm devoting my awareness somewhere else. And so a lot of this book is talking about how to really eat mindfully, but not out of some thing like, a, uh, this is a strict regimen, I'm gonna enjoy my, f I'm gonna eat my food and chew it 40 times. It's like recognizing that this is such a gift and our and we really do enjoy it if we do pay attention to it. And then it becomes fun and it's not some like challenge thing. It's like, wow, I get to eat and I get to get a million pleasure points. And I just love it so much. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to read the back of this book because it gives a really uh, good overview. <sighs> Pretty cool artwork, too. These are confusing times for the health conscious consumer. Hundreds of conflicting diets competing for public attention, each backed by authoritative advocates and compelling testimonials. Which diet is correct? Which authority should we believe? Which sources of information can we trust? The Yoga of Eating presents a wholly new approach, a path of self-trust and self-exploration. This book does not tell you what to eat or what not to eat. It is not a book about nutrition, nor is it about yogic diet. Instead, it is a practical and inspiring manual that explains how to distinguish superficial cravings from authentic appetites to give your body the nourishment it needs. That's a big one for me, trying to distinguish what I'm actually craving. Bring your diet into alignment with who you are and who you wish to be. Choose from among the hundreds of diets on the market to identify which comes closest to meeting your unique needs. And transform the delight and pleasure of eating into an ally in the quest for health. Also building trust in your natural body and natural self. The Yoga of Eating offers original insights on the physical and spiritual functions of sugar, fat, meat, and other foods, dieting, fasting, processing, willpower, and the deeper principles of self-nurture. Dispensing with the conventional doctrine, this book appeals to a higher authority, your own body and shows how to access and trust the wisdom your body has to offer. So, yeah, it's a phenomenal book. Um, I'm going to reread it probably right now because I just finished it. Um, so, I will post some links in the link box. 
I highly recommend enjoying your food because there are so many pleasure points to be enjoyed. So, peace and love. Scooby-Dee.